Yesterday, I got to see Strange Alfred, a.k.a. Weird Al Yankovic. This is my second time seeing him. Um, this is for his uh, Strings Attached tour, which was with a 41-piece orchestra and backup singers, and his usual band, at the grandstand of the um, Minnesota State Fair. So, as I said, this is my second time seeing him. The first time I saw him was for his, uh, what's it called? I have to look it up. I, use, I have to use my idiot, my idiot page here. Uh, last year he was on the ridiculously self-indulgent, ill-advised vanity tour. <laughs> Quite a mouthful and hilarious, ironic tour name. Um, I thought I'd vlog about this because, man... You know, when I think of Weird Al, or at least when you're an adult and you grow up, like, the, when you hear Weird Al, it's typically as a kid, and then you grow up, and, I don't know, a lot of people, they kind of just grow out of it or whatever, but, uh, someone for me, when I, uh, got exposed to Weird Al, got exposed to his silly parodies when I was a kid, and I rediscovered it, um, what I'm trying to recommend is you gotta go see him live, like, he is an amazing per live performer, without a doubt. Like, even as even as a singer, a singer, a playing polka, whatever it may be, just like you're gonna have an amazing show, man. Like, both of these shows, like I can't even de I can't even decide which one I like more. Like, both tours gave a very unique perspective. Like the ill-advised vanity tour, that one was more of a intimate. Hey, let's uh. Let's uh, not do any uh, parodies, but we'll sneak in like a surprise cover and like try to make a giant medley of parodies at the end that you'll recognize. And we'll also play Albuquerque live. So that was uh, that was. I got like a 20-minute rendition of Albuquerque. I swear it was 20 minutes, or felt like 20 minutes when I saw him in 2018. And then this this one with the strings attached, like. <laughs> Oh man, like there's so many costume changes, and the the best part about the uh, the grandstand performances at the grandstand, there were fireworks too. So right when the second to last song finished, which was the saga begins, which was awesome, fireworks start going off and they play the last song. So awesome, man! Like, but uh, I just wanted to uh, get into how awesome Weird Al is. Um, this guy has sold probably more than like 12 million records now, 150 songs, both parodies and original compositions, 1,000 plus live shows, he's won 5 Grammys, 11 Grammy nominations, 4 gold records, 6 platinum records, um, and for any like aspiring uh, musicians, artists out there who have been struggling with their careers, uh, Weird, uh, Weird Al did not get his first top 10 hit for 23 years, and that was White and Nerdy when uh, Straight Outta Limewood came out. Um, and then uh, in 2014, when his 14th studio album came out, Mandatory Fun, that was his first number one album that debuted the week it, uh, it debuted. Uh, and uh, with the uh, lead single from that album, Word Crimes, that also made Weird Al one of the few artists to have like a top what top like 40 top 10 I think it's top 40 in Weird Al's case he had a top 40 single for every decade with Eat It in 1984 Smells Like Nirvana in 1992 White and Nerdy in 2006 and War Crimes in 2014 so this guy like when Weird Al first hit the stage like <laughs> people probably just thought he was a novelty act oh it'll fade away some of the people he's parodied, like they, they, they're this, they were just like one-hit wonders. Weird Al has been doing this for almost forty four decades now. The man's gonna turn sixty this year. Like this guy, you know what? What's also amazing about him is his fans. Like it's thanks to his fans he's got a Hollywood star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I think it's called yeah, in L.A. Um, that's how amazing his fans are. That's how amazing the man, the myth, the legend is. 
Uh, people, you gotta go check the man out live. I highly recommend it. He's on his strings attached to her. Check it out.